Hello, I'm Evie. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now I went straight to Repton and to our quest. I decided to do that because I wasn't sure about all the locations in between. There were some fairly big ones and I was afraid that we might have to do these during quests and then I would have to do them twice and there is enough to do as it is. So we are in Repton, I think. Repton. I'm Repton. sorry. Sigurd should be here with the Regnesons. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Be my eyes. I don't need your eyes. It's in there. So let's go in. No! No! Stay still. No! Do I want to go in? She doesn't want to go in. Who stands before Eva Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up. We'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like... Sending spies! <laughs> and now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Saxon piggy to run amok to the Mercian fields. I would have let him down easy. Huh. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. Are you kidding me? What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. We plunge your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofred. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Can we kill him? I would dearly, lo I would dearly love to do that. Don't play me for a fool, Uba. I know Burgred sent a Vergeld your way. Enough. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lovbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. 
And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. I have to rule the kingdom. I can rule through the Saxon king. The current king will want your head. Hmm. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes, remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Can we trust him? Hmm. Jailwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragna bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit. And you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. The Kingmaker Saga. Hmm. I think I have to digest that beginning. Quite a lot to see here. Yeah. Maybe we should. <laughs> oh my god. Speak with Uba. Wait, um, there is a lot to learn actually in the database about the people here we meet. And there they are. Eva and Uba. Eva and Uba Ragnarsson were two sons of the legendary Ragnar Lothbrok. When Ragnar was killed by the Northumbrian king Ella, his sons sought, reven sought revenge and so began the invasion of the great heathen army. I think they are actually historical. Um, legendary in their own right, Eva and Uba led their army through many conquests across the Anglo-Saxon heptarchy. They inv invaded Northumbria and got their revenge on Ella by way of the blood eagle. Oh god. <laughs> A ritual execution, the detail of which I will omit. As I have just had my lunch. Yeah, so did I. Um, well, a little earlier, but... <laughs> I actually know what a blood eagle is if you don't. Look it up. It's fun. But don't eat anything before you do. 
From there, the brothers invaded the kingdoms of Mercia and East Anglia, yet not merely for pillage and plunder. The brothers wanted control. It was the thrones they were after, and there wasn't much in their way to stop them. Here's an interesting bit. Throughout his campaigns, Ivar earned himself the nickname the Boneless. Though it is not clear why. Oh, I know about him. I think I have seen possibly a whole documentary on that guy. Huh. Don't know you are such a son of a you-know-what. He may have suffered from a rare degenerative bone disease. Some tales speak of him as having a fluid fighting style, as if he had no bones beneath his skin, while others say the name was coined because of a certain performance issue. I think it's fair to say the Danes are of the former camp, and the Saxons are of the latter. Yeah, so that guy actually existed. Not certain how accurate that is. Oh, and Sherwolf the second, so he apparently existed as well. Sherwolf the second was a king's thane or noble who was believed to have belonged to the Sea Dynasty of Mercian kings. He served in King Burgred's court during the Danish invasion of Mercia, but like many nobles during this time, defected from the king's side when the going got tough, that is, when the Danes started winning. Sherwolf was looking to make the best out of a bad situation and most likely had the support of nobles who didn't want to die. So he made a pact with the Danes make him, uh, with the Danes to make him king, a move he hoped would spare his kingdom of their wrath. Talk about back alley rise to the top. Yeah, which doesn't say whether we can trust him or not. Hmm. Okay. Go nice. grief. Um... There's something more to read. <laughs> oh, and we can. Talk to you again. I'll gather my things and meet you in Tamworth as soon as it's over. Okay, yeah, fine. What is that? Oh my god. Should we be out here? Seems to be an entrance that might be related to this. The question is, where is it? really want to go in there again. Hmm. Anything interesting? Not really. Oh, goodness. Um. Ah. See what's down here. Rats. Is that a crypt? Ooh. Is that a no? I thought that was treasure. Collect. Oops. Oh my god, that is long. Huh. The Rixigal, page one, the King of Soft reads. There was once a man named Rick Redderson, eclipsed Rick, the slippery wisdom. He was the son of Reda Rickson, who eclipsed Reda the Wise, who married just like the Exlo, and gave birth to both Rick and God grief Helga Gisla's daughter, the Hugra Heavy. The family was of noble lineage, his ancestors having long Links at Trondelac, the filky fr frotter, oh my word. They were part of the last petty kingdom before Harold came to rule. 
Rick was born during a storm at sea with his mother, his six sisters, his grandmother and his sister in each other's side. With salty waves hitting his face as he emerged from the womb, it is said he miraculously did not cry during this tumultuous birth. As a young man, he was known because he told tales of his visions to all the folk of the Filky. Another one having visions. He wandered from town to town and proclaimed, I have drunk the maid of Odin, and I have sat at the great table with all the Aesir and the swellers of glory. They all know my name. One warrior, Eclipse Sklati, hated this loudmouth. Sklati forced his huge son to fight Rick in a duel, but Rick shone brighter in battle, honorably winning yet not taking Sklati's son's life. Instead, he demanded Sklati's majestic and giant horn, Rick blew it and took it as a spoil. Returning to Froster, he filled it with mate, and his first nickname was Rick the Horn Filler. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I got more to read. We're collecting the artifacts of the region here. Letter concerning the Rixogor. Describes nobles, rulers, and the holy diocese of Leicestershire. I greet you with friendship and the love of God. My name is Prissy the Elder. I have studied under the disciples of Wilfred Erquine and I have also followed the many scholars of the much maligned lords of Daneland and the North. I was captured by one rig, the slippery wisdom, during a raid at Whitby Abbey. I since lived with a heathen at Goldborough and converted many while following their great journeys and turning towards God. Based on the stories I have heard around the hearth and the many battles and adventures I have witnessed, I compiled this saga in the spirit of our great poets Catmon and Kinnewulf, and I have so dutifully taken note of the story of Rig. As Rig so ghoul is as great as the hat of Beowulf or Ragnar Lothbrok. It must be written and rewritten, told throughout the scrolls of our land and beyond the shores, for his name is immortal. What I saw of his might, his merriment, and his godly touch is unlike any other story before or after. He was plagued by a demon's voice, and I worry the devil hath taken him, and not the angels. However, be his tale one of woo and war warning, or of brightness and valour, it merits retelling. I have included with my scop seal and the story of Rick. Please. I beg of you, share it and teach it amongst, Im amidst the maid halls and beneath the belfries of our good lord. This manuscript is sacred. My warmest light, Prissy the Elder. Okay, grief. Is that him? Huh. Maybe not. He has a shield. I don't know. <sighs> good heavens. There's a lot to read after all the excitement of the start of this episode. And I think we might want some action to finish it. Um, I'm going this way. There's also a lot to take while we listen to Evil. Something hidden here. Can we make it out? Okay, he's over there. Quite sure there is a lot more in here. Oh, you just want to train a horse. Or sell us one. Someone is at home, but nevertheless. Half the army is already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lot to look after this place now. Shame. Wanted to see the look on Burgred's face when we stormed his fortress. Now we'll just hear big tales told by drunken heroes. Okay. That was what? Silver. Okay. Right. 
hope you don't mind. I just took <laughs> your server. Let's find Uba. He seems to have more brains than his brother. What's that symbol? Oh, I forgot. Let's just walk straight towards it. No, 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 no. You want to flight? Right? No. Who are you? Well, maybe. I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I do not have time for you. Shame. Come back when you're ready for a challenge. Yeah. So, okay, that sign means flighty. What's the other one? Oh, we're stuck. Who are you? Count on me, Eivor. Oh. I'll show you and the gods my worth. Okay, I haven't recruited yet, I think. Have it a dragon hunter. I'm not even trying to... Trying to pronounce this. So, okay, that's a jump whacking we could, we could hire. Have it a heard about your achievements and we'll be honored to join your clan. So they are honorable warriors who follow a strict code of conduct, dedicating their lives to the fight. They will fight on your side as long as you can pay for their services. So, okay, why not? Just for signs. Let's recruit him. Come. Show me your valor in battle. And earn your Can place I send you a table. Table. Yeah, but I'm not going back to the barracks now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So we have hired somebody whom we can't put to use at the moment. Hmm. Let's talk to Uba. Sail southeast! Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Okay. Talk. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together, thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of does war. Not need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? So we're worried about succession already. Can this boy even fight? This is a bad idea. I think that's a bad idea. Throwing a boy who stinks of fear to a pack of wolves is not the best way to train him. Are you sure that's what Cheowulf wants? Mm, he left it open for interpretation. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Can we kill him? Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. Okay. Well, I guess that's where we're going now. I have to endure my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. I forgot to sink. 
What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son than the middle of a pack of days. Say from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought the Shire to help. Fields are with us, common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. You are distant cousins. They stop talking now. Who are you? Time for you. Right, so we're going to Tamworth. There was a fort that I actually passed on my way. It's a good thing that I didn't go through it. I thought there might be stuff to do here when you're in quests. Right. Oh my god, go away. Really? <laughs> Laughing at me? I'm not gonna join in. Have fun, boys. Have fun. I love it when the NPCs do the work. Yes, get it, get it, get it. I want the skin. Got it? Good. I hope there are more. You. No blocking the path. Move on. Okay. Oh, then bless you, Raven Bearer. Well, <laughs> all in a day's work. See, the Danes aren't that bad. 
Right. And we made it? I think so. On Christas Namen, was there? I must be careful now. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover. I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Sure about that. How about a Norse? Got thing we have trouble of. It's going to stop us. How about a Norse? Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog. You're all the same to me. All godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Okay. Tell the captain we're ready to march. Ivar and I will round up the men. Do you know your way around a battering ram? I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm Duh! of ours. Watch out! Strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. <laughs> okay. Well, that king isn't the most intelligent, is he? Hmm. Well, well I guess we're going to ask him. Ava! And with a battering ram? You want me to come? Okay, fine. I'll come. Out of the way. Race you to the entrance. Are we full? Fresh and sweet. We are if we're going into battle. We'll need it. Where's the captain? There you are. Don't want to play games. No. Who are you? I'm with the Regnesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Uh, yeah. She was thinking very hard about who she was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take hell yeah, why why not? That's why we're here. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jail Beth. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. 
Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Fortress. Breach the first gate. Destroy the gate. Oh, God. Slaughter the soldiers. Leave the king to me. Let's get out of the way. Am I supposed. What? Wait. Hey. Let's interact. Okay, we'll leave Brace charge. What? Let's charge. Okay. Uh, let's charge. Not, not quite. Okay, what are we bracing against? Arrows, okay. I feel reminded of ships. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get it! Mm. Do we just ram him into this? No, let's try again! Really? Oh, we lost some health. You go! Take cover! Shield! Try again, come on! Oh, freak. We've stopped in the middle here. Finished? Oh, yes. Oh, what? The next one? To a fortress. Out of my way! Well, whoever stands in our way is rather stupid. The path is blocked! We must destroy that barricade! Alright, same thing again. Stop, 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 stop. Don't shoot at me. Come on, you know where you're going. <laughs> Thank you, somebody shot one of them. Oh, come on. Somebody shoot this guy up there, please. Yes. Oh, what? Another one. Come on. Ram it, ram it, ram it. Get out of the way. Gotta get anywhere. Constantly have to brace. No, like shooting from anyway. Somebody take care of these guys. Oh, they're coming from behind. Shields up! 
No. Come on. Go, 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 go. Are you kidding me? Let me through. I'm gonna waste a lot of health. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, let me through. you. Quite enough of this. Thank you. Okay, we done it. Can I get some health somewhere? Yes. Did I? What am I supposed to do now? King Barret's elite targets kills. So we have to find us some elites. And some more health. Oh, I have a marker. Okay. Out of my way. Just pass some health. There's more. Another one. Come on. Certainly. <laughs> we just run through? Just ignore everyone. So, I have two elites to fight. Can you make it, Ivo? Ivo? Oh, I thought this arrow is. Are you kidding me? Where am I? What? You want to join as well? Get, get off there, get a woman. Oh my god, she isn't finished. Okay, one down. Where are you? Get, get off! Mm. Tommy's so sticky. Can you actually manage? <laughs> Find him! That's it? Okay. Really? Oh, that was easy. Loot. Where's the other one? It's over, Burkret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Oh. Right upon him. Let's get in there. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Okay. So, ah, search. That was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice <laughs> we were short one Atavik. Where was the son of our king? Jailbed was around. It may be you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Oh, can our Russians be full? Hmm. Requisition letter. Lord, I hope this letter finds you well. You have my gratitude and my promise that these men will not be called upon unless absolutely necessary. We continue to fend off the Danish incursion and will do so without respite. Ethel's with <laughs> sets you her regards. She is well, though, like my war saying, I wonder if she too has begun to doubt our ability to win this war. No matter. It is I who lead it, and I will defend my state to the bitter end. Faith in God, the Lord King of Mercia. Okay. Call for help. Enlisted the aid of powerful men. But who are these warriors he speaks of? Yeah. Grit's journal today, I learned the one they call Halfton was has left Mercia and put his brothers in charge, moved on as if D 
dethroning me was all but a sure thing. He could not be more wrong. The heathens can keep Repton. Dig up Mercer's kings and scatter their bones, for all I care. I will not be shaken by these feeble attempts to, de to damage my reputation. They think they can turn my people against me. No, merchants everywhere will fight for their king, whether they want to or not. Well, there were kings who found that they didn't want to. So, they didn't. And that was the end of that. Hmm. So that's... Hmm. Okay, that's a lock. Oh, there's a key outside. Ooh, treasure. Wait, before I talk to someone. Okay, not in here. In there. Yes. Royal ledger to the Almighty King. We have an agreement, that is, if by the time this message arrives, it is still your ass that warms the seat of Mercia's throne. Here's what I know. The Regnersons have been speaking with one of your own. Cherwolf is his name. Together, they are devising a plan to overthrow you and install him in your stead. A Norse named Sigurd has arrived and allied with brothers. An attack is soon to follow. Ready your men. As for your secret horns, they are safe for now. But keeping them that way will cost you. I await your reply, only this time sent a more fair-faced envoy. Right. Hmm. A chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. Yeah, let's um talk to this guy here. Hmm. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. It's really neat, Bogrit. Any idea where Bogrit's gone? Tonna's your lead. Let's go. Do we really need him? We have Tamworth. Bogrit's on the run. You're the king in all but name. It won't matter. So long as Burgred is free, the people will call him king. He must abdicate his crown to me. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonas. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time, but keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Okay, quest complete in the Sons of Ragnar. Well, that's not the end of it. Oh, skill points. Yes. And a new one, bartering. What are we doing? Looking for Tana? Regroup with Sigurd. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think right now, because I'm quite sure there is a lot to find here in this fortress. 
which was taken quite quickly. <laughs> Did not expect that. I expected a lengthy fight, but quite sure there is treasure in here. Come on, it's gotta be. Look at it. Well, small stuff, I guess. But there's also an artifact. So, yeah. Let's uh, regroup with Sigurd next time. Because that is a new quest for a new day. <laughs> okay, right. Well, thank you for watching. And I hope until next time. Bye-bye.